Hello, um, everyone, and welcome to my channel. Welcome back to my channel. This is Love, Truth, and Wisdom Tarot Guidance. My name is Sharnetta. I hope you all are having an enjoyable day, evening, afternoon, wherever you are, and I hope you all are doing well. Today, I'm here to bring you another Pick a Card reading, and today, we are asking the question, what does your person want to talk about? So what do they want to discuss with you? Um, what they will discuss with you soon, but what do they really want to talk to you about? So we have three piles here to choose from. We have the first pile here with the Hierophant, the second pile here with the Judgment card, and the third pile here with the Chariot. So feel free to pick more than one if you feel guided to do so. Um, keep in mind that this is a general reading, so not all the messages will resonate, and that is okay. Just take what does, leave what doesn't. Um, don't make it fit if it doesn't fit. I am available to do a personal reading um, if you feel guided to get a personal reading from me. So that information will be down below, as well as my other services that I provide that you may be looking for um, down in the description box. And then I just want to give a big thanks to all of you for liking, sharing, subscribing, supporting me, my channel, in any way you felt guided to do so. I truly appreciate everything every single one of you you guys are so great i love reading all the comments and seeing how these readings are resonating with you guys so thank you so much for your time your trust your support um your patience it just it really means a lot to me so thank you all from the bottom of my heart very very much um okay so without further ado here let's get on to your reading Hello, Pile One, and welcome to your reading. If you chose the Hierophant card, this is your reading for what does your person want to talk about, discuss with you. Um, okay, so first thing I'm picking up is that your person definitely wants to discuss a lot with you. They definitely have been thinking about speaking to you for quite some time. I feel like this person has been emotionally repressed when it comes to expressing their feelings for you. Um, maybe even you a little bit have been emotionally repressed or maybe lately you've just held back how you've um, been feeling from you've been holding yourself back from telling them how you feel about them but I do feel like there's a second chance or a new opportunity to do so um, because what the hair find I feel like your person wants to discuss commitment with you I'm also picking up they want to discuss um, their commitment issues that they've had um, when it comes to you or just a relationship in general, I feel like there's been a lot of fear around commitment, a lot of um, worry, anxiety around this particular commitment. And I feel like it's because this person has a very deep love for you and this person admires you. And on some level, they always felt like maybe you deserve better or they couldn't give you what you deserved. Um, this person just, when they see you, when they're around you, they feel inadequate. They feel like like they just admire you so much this person definitely puts you on a pedestal and i just feel like this person just thinks you're so beautiful and so desirable and everyone wants you and why wouldn't everyone not want you and i'm like this person just doesn't see their worth like i feel like this person has like fear of abandonment because we do have please don't abandon me at the top so this person definitely has abandonment issues commitment issues stuff like that and i feel like this is something they definitely want to get past um they definitely want to tell you about so they can get past it because i feel like this person has changed in some type of way i feel like you've influenced this person to change we also have you changed me here as a message so you've definitely influenced this person to change for the better definitely especially with the death here right under the nine of swords i definitely feel like this person has ended a cycle of worry anxiety doubt um um, sleepless nights this person is very sure about how they feel about you they want to express it to you with no strings attached so I feel like maybe in the past this was a little bit of like conditional loving where your person or you would express love and then expect the other person to say it back and then if they didn't you would be like oh this is not my person or oh this is never gonna work or oh this person doesn't feel that way that's not the case that was never the case I just feel like it was like a timing issue and this person had a fear of abandonment so they thought it it was better to say nothing than to say how they really felt because if they did they feel like they would feel like you would leave them at some point like this person just has like a fear that you will find someone better that you deserve someone better so they're just like why would I why should I tell my person that I love them that I think they're the most beautiful thing ever that I admire them and I admire their confidence and their courage like they just didn't see in their perspective because it, they were basing it off of fear and like a wound they didn't see the the necessity of them expressing how they feel for you even though this person does love you and care about you deeply um i do feel like that has changed because this person wants to move to calmer waters with you they want to break the chain of silence they want to break the chain of doubt like i said worry anxiety this person loves you to the moon and back 
um sorry (laughs) this person loves you to the moon and back they really care about you and this person longs for you every night we also have that message here we have i love you to the moon and back and i long for you every night do you feel me so this person has been sending you like energetic telepathic messages of like how they feel for you and i feel like once you quiet your mind or once you're in this quiet meditative place you can feel them as if they were right there with you like touching you holding you telling you this like you just hear them like you both have a very strong bond like this you both could be star seeds light workers this could definitely be your divine counterpart but i feel like it's been a very rocky road of a lot of doubt and fear that has also been telepathically communicated so that's definitely coming to an end i feel like your person has been loud and clear or is about to be very loud and clear with you about how they feel about how they long for you they want to be with you they want to see you they want to speak to you they miss you expressing your love because when you express their love your love to them it makes them feel confident it makes them feel obviously it makes them feel good it makes them feel like they're wanted like they're needed it makes them feel not abandoned which is like weird because i feel like in the past when you did that it made them like the fear was so strong like they were just like oh my god this person's gonna leave me they don't know what they're talking about they don't know you know this person really doesn't love me like they're just they're just gonna leave me but now i feel like this person is like wants to explain to you why they didn't reciprocate in the past or why they withheld from you how much they loved you and stuff like that but this person loves when you pour like love on them when you just like give them your all like they actually really admire it and they just think it's so beautiful and now this person wants to reciprocate that because with the six of swords like i said this is about like balance reciprocation moving to calmer waters um yeah this person definitely wants a commitment with you and with the message here i'm going i'm gonna reach out soon um there has been some i feel like this person yeah there's been some distance between you both and definitely feel like your person is going to reach out really soon we also have the message here at the bottom i will come back to you sooner than you think so i feel like this person is just around the corner from reaching out to you because this person doesn't want you to be with anyone else i feel like this person is very competitive or they feel like like i said like they're putting you on a pedestal and they think like someone's gonna steal my person from me like someone's gonna win them over i have to i have to be the one to be with them like this person can't be with anybody else this person like like literally is wanting to claim you like this person this is what they want to talk about they want to talk about how you've changed them they want to talk about commitment they want to talk about their abandonment wounds this person wants to open up to you this person wants to build a new form of intimacy with you they want to tell you how much they love you and actually care about you and how they wish they were expressed this sooner or back in the past more um intently or just more clear i guess this person wants to tell you how they long for you every night how they think about you night and day they want to know if you feel them thinking about you or feeling for you this person wants to express how they were scared to tell you just how they felt for you because the intensity of their feelings made them very scared and made them do dumb stuff by like not reciprocating their feelings for you by maybe even pushing you away at times um they want to tell you how they still don't feel good enough for you yet, but they want to try, you know, they want to like overcome that. They're hoping that you can help them overcome that um, by you expressing how much you need them and want them and how much you mean to them. This person um, doesn't want to push you away anymore. This person has realized that the more they push you away, the more they long for you. This person is longing. We have two messages here, two messages here about longing like um we have here the more i push you away the more i long for you so this person longs for you and they want to tell you that how much they long for you and they don't want to push you away anymore um they don't want to be scared of their feelings for you anymore they want to come correct they want to be clear they want to resolve any doubts no more mystery about how they feel about you this person is going to be like i said very loud and clear about how they feel there will be no misunderstandings there will be no doubt there will be no like second guessing you will be very clear how this person feels about you and what they think about you and how much they admire you and how much they admire your growth and your confidence and where you've come from and and where you are right now i feel like you could have a large following or you could be doing something in the public eye where a lot of people look up to you um and a lot of those people that look up to you may not know your whole story of like you know how you got to be where you are right now but i feel like this person does so they admire that in you they're just like wow you like really inspired me to like go after my dreams and to not let my past hold me back and to you know go to to work for what i want and to to overcome a lot of obstacles and to break the chains of like any codependencies addictions obsessions that have been holding me back maybe even 
thinking patterns, behaviors that have been holding me back from really like loving you and being in love and being happy and going after what I love. Like this person has a very um, serious speech for you. I feel this person has a very like, is going to be very direct when they speak to you. It's going to be very clear. It's going to be very like, like, just forward it's gonna move things forward it's gonna move things to calmer waters this person really can't hold back and as i'm speaking my heart chakra is like it was really tense in the beginning and then the more that i was speaking the more it was like opening up and i feel like this person one is very nervous to tell you this too but the more that they get started the more they like, get the ball rolling it's gonna like be like word vomit like this person is just gonna be like like, this is how I feel. Like, this is what I want. Like, do you want the same things? Like, I love you. I long for you. A lot of love, like, how much this person loves you. It's like, this person has been holding in how much they love you so much that they're finally going to explode. And, like, everything that they were, they wanted to tell you in the past when you express this love, they're going to tell you, like, like a, it's almost like a whole, like, year's worth of love that this person is about to, like, explode all over you basically like this person is just so in love with you and they're so intense like this person can be really intense or their feelings for you are just very intense because they've been holding back for quite some time when it comes to you and they just don't want to do that anymore and they're going to tell you why like I said and they are going to um yeah this person is definitely just coming back to you to love you and to want to be with you and I feel like this person's like chasing you honestly like they're right behind you like you're gonna hear from this person rather quickly so that is what they want to talk to you about so I'm gonna leave it here so I hope this was helpful I hope this provided you with some type of guidance and clarity to your situation if not feel free to pick another pile if you feel guided to do so I'm sending you all so much love and light thank you for watching thank you for tuning in and I will talk to you all later take care hello pile two and welcome to your reading if you chose the judgment card this is your reading for what does what does your person want to talk about and what do they want to discuss with you so definitely they want to discuss something because we have the message here can we talk i can't wait to express myself to you and be vulnerable um but in terms of what they want to talk about i do feel like this person has had some type of awakening to their past ways i feel like this person has awaken to their own self-judgments and like them maybe making the wrong assumptions when it comes to you this relationship them making like maybe like wrong judgment calls when it comes to just life in general but especially when it comes to this relationship so this is a very powerful relationship you have with this person honestly this is i wouldn't be surprised if this is like your divine counterpart twin flame like you have a very strong like strong soul bond with this person like it's a very strong connection like you both cannot stand being apart you both want to be together it's like you can't live without each other you can't live with each other you can't live without each other like this is someone that is like you crave you both crave each other even when you both don't like each other or mad at each other even when you both like hate each other it's like you still love each other you still like yearn for them you still want them you still want their attention you want their focus you want their time like you want to spend time with this person like you just love this person i feel like when this relationship is good it's really good and then when it's not so good it's like really not so good like there's been a lot of um maybe toxic behavior just in this relationship oh sorry you i feel like this relationship has been really has been really toxic and i say that because this this is passing i don't think this is very much present anymore with the devil in reverse i feel like you both have finally just come to the realization or this judgment call or your person has where they're just like i love this person no matter no no matter what like good bad happy sad like this is my person i want to work things out with them i want to be with them i don't want to be with anybody else i don't want to um like this person just does not want to let you go they can't let you get away and we do have this message here i'm on my way to you i can't let you get away like this person can't let go of you and you can't let go of this person i do feel like you may be in a place where you may be feeling a little bit indifferent towards them because this relationship has been so difficult or harsh or the past has just been really haunting you lately and i feel like it's been haunting this person as well um I feel like your person has been working up the courage or working on an offer to give you, but they're very scared that you're not going to take it. They're very scared that you're not going to appreciate it or you're just kind of doing your own thing. You don't want to hear from them, but this person has been longing for you. Like, honestly, this person misses you like crazy. This person um, hates being at a distance from you now. Like, I don't know if this is how always how they felt, but this person cannot stand being apart from you. They can't stand being at distance from you. This person wants to be as close to you as possible. They 
They want to reconnect with you. They want to build more intimacy with you. And this is why I feel like what they want to talk about is this person wants to talk about everything. They want to talk about the past. They're nervous, but they feel like they have to talk about the past. Like it has to be brought up. And they want to talk about wounds and they want to talk about, they want to start over, but they want to do it nice and slow. Like you have the message here, let's take it slow. This person wants to take it slow and they're going to kind of gauge from you, like, how you're feeling and like what you're feeling and what you're thinking and go from there because we also have i'm waiting a, i'm waiting a that should be i'm waiting for a from a it says i'm waiting a signal from you then doesn't make sense but you get the gist of it like this person's like waiting for a hint from you to be like okay like it's okay to approach me or it's okay to say this or it's okay to say that like they're gonna kind of go off of your lead they're gonna start but then after they start they're gonna kind of see how you take it basically um I feel like either okay so we have here I think we should just be friends right now I feel like this is kind of coming from both of you honestly maybe just you but I feel like your person like will go with that if that makes sense so if you feel like you should just be friends with this person right now they're going to they don't agree with it but they're going to be like let you take the lead on this they're going to be like okay cool we can be friends right now even though this person already knows that they want you that they're not going to let you go like they'll let you they'll let this relationship just go at a slow pace whatever pace you want to set for this relationship they're going to agree or well, not agree but they're going to follow your lead basically um yeah this person is going to plant the seed of commitment they're going to plant the seed that they want a serious commitment with you we have all pentacles here which is like grounding energy so this person definitely wants to ground this relationship with you they want to talk about grounding it they want to talk about letting go of all the past hurts um all the past like um codependency dynamics fears manipulations with this devil here they want to talk about how they maybe didn't choose you how they chose other things like i said they chose like other um fears like other behaviors other people friends family other like situations that weren't healthy for them they want to discuss that with you um this person definitely wants to offer you like a peace offering but they're going to let you take the lead on like where you go after that after this person discusses that with you like they have awakened to the fact that they have messed up and they want to talk to you about that and so yeah that's what they're gonna do they just but they're doing it because they want you to know where they are coming from where they've come from where they are now and what they want but it's gonna be your final decision on like where or how fast this goes or if you even want this or right now or whatever the case may be but um yeah because we do have divine timing is at play so be patient and i feel like this person knows they need to be patient um maybe you want to just take your time with this but this person yeah we have i denied my feelings for you for a long time this person doesn't want to deny their feelings for you they just want you to know how they feel what they feel what they what they want with you how they miss you this person wants to like offer you something this person misses you like crazy honestly and like i said with all the pentacles this person is very very serious this person wants to offer you some type of gratification um this person wants a gratifying relationship with you they want a complete relationship with you that like unites mind body and soul like this person wants to be rooted with you wants to grow roots with you wants to have roots with you this person wants to have intimacy with you and pleasure with you but like they want to take their time or they just want they don't want to go fast because they know like it's just been a lot so they want to take their time with this but they definitely have a lot to express to you um i also feel like this person like i said wants to just be more affectionate towards you more gentle they want to take a more tender approach they want to overcome any indifferences you may have because this person wants to make sure that they reflect simple and honest feelings when it comes to you honestly so this person wants to make sure that their feelings are sincere honest and simple and clear and then they're gonna have you kind of go off of you like how you take that or how you feel about them feeling this way so definitely like a major reset is happening with you and your person which is beautiful i feel like it's been a long time coming and finally your person has reached a level of certainty and a level of awakening where they realize that things can no longer be this way and they love you and they care about you and they can't deny that anymore um they can't just be your friend or be your friends with benefits or be in a situation ship with you anymore they want something more they want something serious but again this is like up to you how you want to move a go about this how do you want to approach this or how you want to you know 
move forward with them because they definitely want to move forward with you but they're leaving like the ball in your court type of stuff but they're gonna start this in this way it's really really nice i feel like such peace such calm such like stability and then working from there you know what i mean and and like working towards the ten of pentacles that's what i see here like definitely like you both or this person definitely wants to have the ten of pentacles with you which is like that long steady secure loving committed relationship but they definitely have to discuss some things with you first and they want to know how you feel about them and how you feel about wanting the ten of pentacles with them as well because like i said this relationship has not been easy it's been very intense it's been very divinely guided there's been a lot of lessons a lot of soul lessons a lot of maybe karma that's been played out between you both um and i do feel like this karma has been played out in past lifetimes coming into this lifetime to finally wrap up and um yeah they finally just do not want to be apart like i just get that so strong like this person does not want to be apart from you so even if you decide like i think we should just be friends right now you tell this person that they're gonna be like okay well let's hang out as friends like what do you want to do tomorrow like what do you want to do on tuesday what do you want to do you know on the weekend like because this person wants to spend as much time with you as possible they do not like being apart from you they like your company they like your energy they like being near you and i feel like this person's afraid that you have forgotten about them or they just don't want you to forget about them which i don't think is possible because you both share a very strong bond but you know they just want you to know that they are present they are here they want to be here with you they want to be with you so it's really sweet i feel like this person's really going to make an effort to to show you that they care that they want to be with you and that they love you and that you're the person for them and they don't want anyone else it's really beautiful so that is what i see for you guys so i hope this was helpful and i hope this provided you with some type of guidance and clarity to your situation if not feel free to pick another pile if you feel guided to do so i'm sending you all so much love and light thank you for watching thank you for tuning in and i will talk to you all later take care hello pile three and welcome to your reading if you chose the chariot um this is your reading for what does your person want to talk about what do they want to discuss with you so I feel like, first of all, I feel like this communication, because I feel like your person is not going to reach out anytime soon is what I'm picking up. So I feel like this communication in terms of what they want to talk about is going to be more telepathic or in your like why you both are meditating like in a med it's gonna be telepathic it's gonna be like in your dreams but telepathic because i do feel like this person needs the courage to reach out i feel like it will start telepathic and then when this person has the courage to reach out they will tell you this in person but it's going to like i said start telepathically and what they want to talk about is how they want to move forward how they want to be stable how they want to be um heal they want to be the best version of, of themselves they don't want to struggle anymore when it comes to their life or this relationship with you and i feel like this person has been struggling um because i feel like this person has not been clear about their wants or needs or like how they feel about you this person has been very secretive i feel like this person has been really uh, maybe keeping you at like a friend's type of benefits or like a situation where you know this person has feelings they know they have feelings but they're not really doing anything about it or something like that i'm picking up um this person knows that we have like a very strong message here of like nobody compares to you we have that message at the top and then we have you can't be replaced so this person really knows that you are the one for them you are like their ultimate partner their ultimate person their ultimate dream um person that they would want to be with and no one else compares to you and i say that because i feel like this person may have tried to replace you or may have tried to date other people or think that they could replace you or think that they could do better than you and they have realized um that they can't so this person is really like wow like this is like they're embarrassed i'm getting like an embarrassment a, like a guilty feeling and like a feeling of like maybe being ashamed for trying to do that because this person has realized like this is my divine counterpart this is my person this is my one true love this is the person that i is like my ultimate soulmate my ultimate person that i want to marry that i want to have a commitment with that is like husband wife material but they don't have the courage to tell you that quite yet um but i do feel like this is something they could tell you in their dreams so you could be dreaming about this or telepathically they will tell you this because i feel like you may have set up some boundaries where this person and you feel like 
maybe I don't know if it's energetically or physically where this person feels like they want to meet up with you because you do have the message here let's figure things out together let's meet up but maybe you've been like keeping this person at a distance or maybe you've just kind of been not really ready to meet up with this person yet or maybe it's their approach on how they want to meet up with you that you're just not feeling you're kind of just doing your own thing and waiting for this person to approach you in a way that values you in a way that they like show you how much they care about you like you know what i mean like you know your value you know your worth you have like the queen of swords the empress and the queen of pentacles that's like this person thinks about you all the time like you're the only person on their mind but this person i feel like this person's kind of playing games i'm not gonna lie like this person knows that but and it's okay maybe i shouldn't say that they're not playing games i feel like this person just needs a lot of more healing because we do have please focus on yourself which i feel like is something you're already doing and i feel like if anything this person needs to focus more on themselves they need to focus more on healing and we do have please be patient with me i'm trying so this person really is trying to be better to do better to not be so manipulative or so secretive and not keep their feelings at bay and kind of just pretend that you're just a friend or that you just you know whatever the case whatever they're pretending to 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 feel or to intend with you it's just it's not working like this person needs to be honest they know the truth they know that this relationship is like destined they know it's written in the book of destiny and it requires them to change their actions or change their approach change the way they think change and to see themselves differently because this person values you but it's like they don't value themselves so but how can they truly value you if they don't value themselves you see what i'm saying so this person like values you to a certain point because they've only valued themselves to a certain point so they need to really like focus on themselves honestly i feel like you know this so you're kind of just waiting until this person you, you feel like you feel the energy of this person so you're waiting for this person to be in the right alignment of energy to be in the right frequency to be in the right mindset for them to approach you because you're not really down with the games or like just them like pretending that they have no feelings or you know them not expressing any type of romantic feelings even though they you know they do and you do it's just kind of like I don't really have time for that like let's just figure it out so um yeah this person definitely needs courage to reach out because they're struggling right now we also have the message here thank you for putting up with me and believing in me for this long so this person does really appreciate you like i said they appreciate you and value you to a certain level but it's like this person just feels guilty they feel like a victim they feel ashamed for just what they've done to you they haven't forgiven themselves and i feel like you have forgiven them and you're just waiting for them to catch up but this person is not quite there yet they're like two-thirds of the way there they still have to like believe in themselves and believe that they deserve you believe that they deserve a healthy relationship believe that they are worthy of one that they're worthy of you like this person has like self-worth issues or like value issues that they're working on but again they're like not there yet um we also have the message here i've tried to distract myself but i just can't get over you again i definitely feel that um this person's tried so many things to get over you i'm not gonna lie this person's tried dating other people being with other people work friends family it just is not working so this person has come to the conclusion that okay or is about to come to the conclusion that okay like i maybe i do have feelings for this person but the thing is is that we don't have any cup cards so there's no like it's like all um a lot of major arcana and pentacles so this person is kind of thinking about this in a grounded way where they're not because i feel like this person's afraid to look stupid because they already feel guilty and, and like and ashamed of what they've done or you know what i mean and i feel like this person it's like their emotions are right there but they're like not acknowledging them quite yet so this is why this person needs to focus on themselves they know but in terms of like them speaking it out loud and them like thinking it that's where it's kind of like not there yet they're feeling it but they're not like their thoughts are a little bit more focused on i want to hang out with you and just you know let's meet up for coffee let's meet up for drinks or um even though like deep down they feel like this person has put up with me for so long even if it's just been a couple months or weeks i feel like this person has really kind of been like secretive and manipulative and like not in a major way but in a way where you are picking up the energy and you're just not feeling it because it's like it doesn't agree with your 
with what you know to be true about you. Like you just know you deserve someone who's sure, who's clear, who's empowered and who knows what they want. And I feel like this person knows what they want, but they act like they don't. So this person is just like, you know, thank you for still wanting to even talk to me. Or even when I, when this person does ask to meet up, thank you for even like thinking about meeting up or if you have met up with this person met up with this person or you know what I mean thank you for just giving them a time of day because this person just again is in this place where they just don't feel good enough and they're trying they really are with the please be patient so I feel like this person definitely needs your patience right now um we also have I acted like this because I was scared most definitely this person has acted this way like they don't care like they just see you as a friend because they're scared that you won't see them the way that they see you because this person puts you on a pedestal this person sees you as someone that any person would want why would you want them and they then that scares them and so that makes them kind of have to ignore their feelings or feel like they have to ignore their feelings and maybe keep you on like a friend level even though this person does not have friend feelings they have like deep romantic loving unconditionally loving feelings for you that they've been keeping a secret for some time I don't know if this is like a secret admirer or a friend who has more feelings for you than you know but I feel like this is someone that um you've spent quite some time with maybe not a lot but enough to know that this person is not treating you the way that you deserve and maybe you also I feel like you're very intuitive so you know that this person could be scared or is just kind of in the middle of healing something is is just is scared and you just like don't have time for that and you have compassion for that and you understand but it's like also it's like you deserve someone who's not scared you know what i mean because you've worked on that part of yourself and like you're not scared to express how you feel you're not scared to tell this person what you want and need and i feel like this person is scared to do that with you so they have a lot of like growing up to do or a lot of like figuring things out about this person needs to focus on themselves honestly because they know they know this as well it's just this person um yeah has a lot of things to figure out when it comes to their power and what they say and how they say it and and stuff like that um we also have i'm healing myself like i said and then you can't be replaced so this person definitely is in the process of healing themselves i feel like like i said they're two-thirds of the way there and this person doesn't want to pretend to like be cool around you i feel like this person wants to be cool around you like wants to like not look stupid i feel i'm just getting like i don't want to look dumb i don't want to look foolish i don't want to be like i'm so in love and this person doesn't even love me even though you do care about this person and i feel like you do love this person you have love for this person i feel like maybe this person has way more love for you than you do for them but you you intuitively know but the way this person acts you're just like this is just crazy like this is just like not where it's at right now like maybe you're just like this person needs some time this person needs to focus on themselves this person needs to know my worth and needs to know their worth for this to work out for this to happen so okay wow so this is instead of so in terms of like what they want to talk about they do want to meet up it's going to be up to you whether you want to meet up with this person this person is still in like this manipulative energy with the magician in reverse and they may even tell you like hey i need more time before we can be something serious or date or whatever the case may be but thank you for giving me this time thank you for believing in me you know but i do need patience i do need you know to focus on myself right now but i do feel like this could be something real this could be something that you know doesn't compare to anything else that this person has ever had like something like that but i feel like this is going to be like i said telepathically first and then reach out because even if this person reaches out they're still like nervous which is why they're still in this manipulative energy so you'll know when this person is like serious because they will be very very clear um and very intentional and this person will date you and like set dates and like court you and stuff like that so if they're not doing that yet that means they're still in this fear place um which i feel like you know again so and not like let's meet up for coffee like an actual date like a romantic date like let's have dinner and a movie or let's spend time together you know what i mean not let's just like hey are you around do you want to get like coffee that's fine but i feel like it's on a friendly level which i feel like you know but you're just wanting something more with this person and you're not willing to settle for like an occasional coffee you know meet up hang out type thing um 
but yeah so that is what i see for you guys so i hope this was helpful and i hope this provided you with some type of guidance and clarity to your situation if not feel free to pick another pile if you feel guided to do so i'm sending you all so much love and light thank you for watching thank you for tuning in and i will talk to you all later take care